Give her a roll, it's dick like Hey, show them with me to hit I Two rolls on them switch sides All that ass got me hypnotized Said she want some dick tonight Zoo gang don't make me get the guys See that thing on my head rise Turn this shit to a fish fry Next. DJ Thoreau, a.k.a. Thoreau's out on the bridge to the streets. New York City's number one attraction. It's not a great adventure. It's me. This is 50.com. Let's go. And you're see what it is. That boy punched the new face, just looking like new money. I'm so happy to be here. Yo, 1738. 1738. Yeah, What's up, killer? Remy Boy Mo yeah, man. Monty. Yeah, man. Femi, this is 50. Remy Boy Monty, 1738. Femi, you turning up. Yeah, you got, a, got a heavy song on the radio right now. Ladies sliding their panties, you know what I mean? It's fucking raw. How's it feeling, my nigga? <laughs> nah, I mean, it feel good. Nah, I mean, especially when you come from the hood, feel me? And nah, I mean, all that shit. So, nah, I mean, I just appreciate all this shit, Red right? Sox. So, I just cause appreciate this. The rock, because we had um, Fetty up here at least February. We called him early. 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 When Fetty came up here, he had 3,000 followers. Straight oh, up. Man. Straight up. That was oh, in that's February. Crazy. That's when we caught him. I remember Thoreau gave me the call. He said, yo, we got to do this interview. I said, nigga, I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that was a minute ago. Yeah, 3,000 followers. Yeah. Like, think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think about it now, y'all in almost November. That was mm. February. Y'all yeah. whole lives changed in like seven yeah. months. A lot changed. Explain, yeah. like, tell the people what's, what's that vibe been like and that momentum. Now, I mean, well, like, we just try to keep this shit going, like, really. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Like, we got passion for the music, so we just keep making music, feel me? We just, just keep putting out good music, really, but around that time span, I mean, a lot did change as far as, like, I mean, like, how, the way we got moving shit. Definitely. Feel me? Because niggas, niggas popping now, really, feel me? Like, niggas turning up out here, dropping this new music and shit, but, feel me, like, we just into the lifestyle, feel me? But we still some other niggas, we still from the street, though, feel me? Real talk, like, so, we're wrong, like, that's what it is, though, real talk. Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 I want to always start from level A, man, because not everybody gets to really hear these interviews where we get to talk to the person directly. Yeah, well, how does this start? How does this? How does seven thir seventeen thirty eight? How does the Remy boys? I mean, bring us back to the start. To the start, I mean, it was I mean, like whatever. It was me, Wop, and um, we just like first like we always made music. Like I was the one who made music first. Like I was the artist, or whatever. Like, mm. I was always in the studio making music and shit in and out the studio and this was like before WAP was even rapping so WAP was not nah, man like he was my boy before all this so I was fucking with him I nah, mean like that's like my brother I knew him way back feel me so he was fucking with me and I guess just being around the studio in that environment with me all the time feel me like he wanted to rap for a while like so then he like he started rapping and he started developing his ways that he me what up with the rap and after a while it just built it from there type shit like that's how i started and then for me it was like the first song he did it was like i was like oh, all right like it sound all right like she was sound all right so and i said keep going and then the next thing you know like we hit Bang. like he ended up my boy ended up having like the hit single it kicked off for me like for me and we just grinded from the bottom for me and monty up next so now i'm here for me real talk i did Right, um, for people that don't know, the word Remy, the whole 1738, what does that mean? What does that come from? The Remy boys yeah. are like, no, I mean, 1738 is like the highest brand of liquor in the hood as you're going to get as far as like Remy mm. wise and shit, for me. So we kind of branded ourselves as like the highest, like brand of like Remy type shit, like the highest, whatever, for me, whatever you call it, whatever, for me, whatever. So like, that's basically how we came up with like Remy boys, but like we was always sipping Remy period though, for me, but this is 1738, that's how we came up with 1738, like we branded it off that, so for me it's 1738. And okay. Zoo, what part of Jersey are from? From Patterson, Patterson, Patterson New Jersey. Pat. Let me shout, 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 shout out to the old Patterson too, man, up there, down the hill, whatever, man, love fucking with the Zoo game, Remy boys. What's, shout out to the old what's it like? Y'all got four number one records in a yeah. span of seven months. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like winning five championships in one season, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it's not regular shit. Yeah, it's crazy. That's like, different level money, different level pussy. Yeah, man, we just blessed, bro. Real yeah. tough, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm just grateful, man. We just blessed, like. I mean, like, before this rap shit, like, niggas really put the time in for this shit, feel me? We really grinded, like, we straight, straight, fresh from the street, like, fresh from the gutter, so, I mean, like, we just grinded for this shit, so mm -hmm. we appreciate this shit, my nigga, real tough, like. Let me ask you a question, up, bro. Um, and, and, you know, it's just, it's just a direct question. Is it frustrating at times? Because, I mean, Fetty got four in the top ten, but you mm -hmm. have two. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I think at times, 
we kind of just be like, well, Fetty got four, Fetty and his mans. Is it frustrating being in that position where niggas kind of not giving you your just due, that you still on two top ten records? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, true. Uh, honestly, I don't care about none of that shit. <laughs> I on, did, on some red shit, like it's red shit, like like what? That's my brother. Feel me? We gon' mm -hmm. it's all the same thing. Feel me? He got four top ten. We got four top ten. That's how I look Real at that shit. shit. Feel me? Like at the end of the day, long as my team one and I'm good. Like feel me? I'm glad to be on the tracks that he let me on. Feel me on the album and all that. Feel me? So like that's how I look at that shit. Like I don't worry about all that negativity. How they try to make me look like as long as my brother good. He went and he doing his thing. I'm supporting him. Like, I'm right behind him. So I don't be worried about that. I see your whole crew is here. Yeah, that yeah, look shout, like a tight shout, shout out to the um, Gooey Kids too. For me, RGF, for me, boys, for me, we here. For me, RGF, Nick the Grit, Danny Sue, Shauna, for me, the whole squad, the whole team, and all that. It's like a tight knit group, all of y'all here. Yeah. You know, y'all brothers. Mm -hmm. So when Dice went against y'all, how did that make y'all feel? Coming up the way y'all coming up? Cause y'all all here holding each other down. Nah, true. Sure. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Everybody go through any differences, whatever. Feel me? Like, everybody, like, shit happens through all of this shit. Feel me? Like, like I said, like, nobody wished for this to happen, but it happened for me, bro. I can see the dice is for me. Just keep doing your thing with me. Best of luck. Like, is there anybody I could ever like, repatch that, or it's too far? I don't know. Yeah. Feel me? Like, who knows? Feel me? Shit, God hands. Who knows? 10 years down the line. I don't it know. Can be feel different. me? But I feel you. right now, it's just tension. So, feel me? I, I, I ain't focusing to none of that. I just mm -hmm. gotta worry about Monty Zoo, and I'm keeping it forward. I'm just moving on. So, me, with the Remy Boys Zoo gang thing and all that. So. How do you, um, how do you, um, do you feel the need to distinguish yourself from Fetty so they don't say you sound like him or you're you're trying to sound like him or you, you make a conscious effort to do your own style or how do you how do you how do you do like, that? Like, like I said before, I don't care about none of that like mm. what the people say. Right. Like they can say like I'm just making music. Like I don't care about what Facts. they say if they say about I sound like this, like I'm doing my own lane, I'm pushing my music for me. I would <laughs> like how we been started this shit, like and it works since the beginning, so we're gonna keep doing it how we how we been doing it. Feel me? Like I, I feel like like I don't sing, so I ain't I don't feel like I sound like Fetty. Like right, feel right. Me? I just like I harmonize and all that, but I ain't hear no notes, I just rap. Like I feel like I'm more of a rapper than feel me than anything. Like I try to rap and I harmonize, walk, like sing and harmonize or whatever. I think so, it's your flow, man. Like yeah, you got a like, flow that works for this nah, generation. Yeah, appreciate it on You know, like, that's really what it is, right? Now word up, like we definitely like like, like we've been working for a minute, like we've been grinding for a minute, like it's right. probably been about like WAP really just started, but as far as me, I've been rapping for probably about a couple of years, probably like five, six years. So. I got a question, where where my boy Peoples at? The, 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 the Peoples is yeah. Oh, that's yeah. my man, Peoples is yeah. He probably in the studio right, right cause now. Right, because he produced that big hit joint, got the um the the, the um the Remy joint, the um the uh, Remy, the um, three seven yeah. Oh, three seven nine, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that. that's, that's my man, yeah. Now nah, we're shot the Peoples too, feel me, yeah, like. He the man, like he the master behind a lot of hits, so much shit. Right. Me. Like he, nah, me produced a lot of our records and shit like that. So shout out to people's like, that's all. So, so what, what's the what's the move for you now? I mean, I, I guess you got the platform. The whole world is looking at Monty. Fact. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What's the position for you? Are you on 300? Uh, nah, nah. I'm uh, I'm RGF. I'm an RGF artist. I'm an RGF, and I got my own company, Remy Boy, 1738, and. Like next, when I'm thinking about doing, I'm about to drop a uh, mixtape like early November, maybe mid November ish type, whatever, and I'm gonna drop that on them, man. Feel me? I'm just, I'm, know what I mean? Fuck the streets up. I'm gonna drop that shit, you know what I mean? Get some yeah. music to the streets, some new music from the zoo, feel me? And you wanna take it from here. Right. I see you, man. You on a French new single? Yeah, oh, uh, Freaky, cool. yeah. Shout out to Frenchie too, man. Coke Boys, man. Make sure y'all go cut that Coke Zoo when that drop too, man. Coke that's, Zoo. That's gonna, that's gonna be some high classic. Coke Zoo? Coke yeah. Zoo. Yeah, that's, big, that's a big fucking yeah, Coke Zoo. <laughs> my nigga. Yeah. Yo, how, how does it feel being on the radio every fucking five minutes? I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm,
feel me? Just to do that, just to hear myself on the radio, like, at first I was shocked. I'm used to it now, though. Like, 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 now I'm used to it, but I'm still be, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just grateful for this shit, because at any day, like, you never know, man. Shit could be all over and shit, so. I mean, Jersey's had a rich history of putting out like dope <coughs> artists. Still yeah. to this day, Shaq. Got a platinum album. Oh, He's from Jersey. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. He's my favorite rapper. <laughs> she said, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq's your favorite Shaq. rapper? Hell yeah, platinum wow. <laughs> From Jersey, let's yeah, not. That's true. <laughs> does, Jer Shaq? does Jersey get their just do? You know, you got Joe I mean, Biden. I mean, does Jersey get their just do? In your opinion, in, in, in the culture of hip hop, are people looking at Jersey as a staple as much as you feel like they should? Uh, not really, nah. I don't think so. That's why we opening the doors now. Like I feel like, know what I mean? Like, er, like Jersey did have a couple artists probably in the past, but I feel like that was just a while ago. Like this is a new era, it's a new time. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Like, and feel me, my nigga Watt just sparked it back up. Feel me? And it's a lot of talent in Jersey too. So I feel like, I mean, like we just opening the doors for the rest of for the other artists as well who are coming out of Jersey. For me, that after when we done with this shit, whatever, like years down the line, like for the other artists and shit. So. Who's, who's cooking out there? You know, you got a lot of art. You got the gooey kid for me. You got my boy on. Um, you got Skama. You got House Party, RGF on um, M80. Like we got a couple artists under the RGF, whatever for me. Like y'all gonna hear about them soon. So mm -hmm. for me, like we taking it one step at a time. That's all. all right, let's get down to the business. What's the groupie action like? <laughs> yeah, groupie action. <laughs> we live for the ignorant shit. Yeah, like, four number one. Oh, you singles. got four number one singles. Right? And it's white women. You can right, fuck them um, raw. <laughs> And they won't Saying keep the baby. <laughs> don't ask, don't yeah. ask my TV your baby daddy. Man. Let, I'm good now. How's Fetty doing? How's Wap doing? He just had the motorcycle accident. Nah, yeah, like, um, where was y'all at when y'all got the new, or where y'all did, man? I was actually, like, I was at my boy rest when I actually got the news. Like, it was like early morning. Like, early mm -hmm. morning, whatever. I just got the call out here. What kind of accident? I dropped everything, went right there, like, that's, that's really the second, right, like, I, I think I was, like, the second person there, I think Nick mm. Grit was there first, and I was there second, like, and I just jumped right in the ambulance, you feel me, but, as of now, like, he doing better, feel me, like, his leg getting better, he's still, you know what I mean, it take time, feel me, but he's getting up, he's moving more, legs still, feel me, so, couple weeks for you niggas, man. You got a couple weeks left just, for you niggas. Just man. keep them Kar Kardashians away from your man. You know they're talking. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, they to You oh, know they're talking. Uh, if you, if you get a hold of uh, one of them younger ones, just nut in the mouth <laughs> and, and tell us a story in a jersey. Yo, man, please. <laughs> They got a history of catching like, nuts in their mouth. Oh, what are you bugging, my nigga? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Cali literally had a picture of Tiger and said, Oh, here's my nigga's the mugshot. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Man, don't listen to this. Man. The E-Channel strong, man. <laughs> <laughs> the views represented <laughs> by my ignorance is <laughs> only solely on me. Nobody I'm signed this contract. Bro. What's yeah. the biggest crowd you ever rock in front of? Um, Biggest crowd? Uh, I probably got to say... The show we did with Taylor Swift. Jesus Christ. That summer jam? I'm, how much by? Nigga said Taylor Swift. Fuck nah, a summer I'm jam. Summer jam. Hey, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. We going Taylor Swift. Man. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, can I? Yo, I mean, I, we seen what happened with summer jam. Kind of jam y'all at the end of the set as yeah, if Fetty ain't had the biggest record. Why yeah, did it go down like that? I don't know what happened, big bro. That's tough, man. It just happened. However, it happened, but we wish we could have came out. Yo, there Ebro early. misjudged the Not situation. Me for all That's the it. Fans and all that. That's so it. All the fans. I get it. So okay. we out here, you know. Remy Boy Monty, 1738, live on This Is 50, man. Yeah, we also got the um, extension, the, um, the, the Gooey Kids. Gooey Kids, live in here. Yo, come step up. Step up. Gooey Kids. Hey, bro. Definitely your boy, Gooey Kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Your boy, Gooey Kids. Straight out of Patterson, Gooey Bob's on here right now. 23, repping 23 on you right now. All right, so all y'all basically connected, but branched out, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Explain that. How, how does that work? Saying, we, we the gooey kids, mm -hmm. we, we do our thing. Okay. We definitely linked up with Net RJ Production, you know, we do our thing with them also. Right. And we just grind and try to figure out what's up. Okay. We, we make right. music, they make music, we make good music, they make good music. Let them know where they can find you at, man. Let find me on SoundCloud, you can find us on SoundCloud, Zone GVO, um, 3 ENT also. You can find me on Instagram, King Gooey, you can find me on. Well, you can find us on YouTube, check us out you on You can follow me on Instagram, Valley023. So you can check us out anyway, tune in, we could definitely got some fun. It's all, it's all Patterson, it's a Patterson thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all Patterson. Patterson. Yeah. Patterson, deep. Park Gabby's 23rd. 
Hey, give her a roll this dick line. Hey, show them with me to hit I. Yeah. Yeah.